Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It is Corey, <coughs> excuse me, and today I am going back to the beginning, back to where it all started, and I am ripping another box of 1999 Bowman, or 1990 Bowman, in search of the Frank Thomas rookie card, uh, as well as completing this set into the binder. I have a few empty slots, about uh probably 150 cards I'm missing and instead of picking them off one at a time I found this while I was at home this weekend in Delaware I was able to pick this up for $25 I actually got it for 20 they knocked five off of that price so $20 I was able to carry this out and it's a I love Bowman I do the Bowman sets the top sets and 1990 is where it all began for me when I started this channel. I started opening the 1990 Bowman and 1990 sets. So I figured what a great way to go back and do this one more time with a little bit more knowledge of what I'm opening as I did not enjoy it the first time the way I do now. So these are all wax packs. They're all going to contain a gum, 14 cards per pack. So I will have some damage cards in here, but I will still be able to find quite a few cards that I am missing and 30 year old gum, which is actually not that bad. Dissolves though, right in your mouth. But each pack is going to be waxed on the back. So this card right here will not be able to be kept into my binder. So we're hoping the Thomas does not end up there. And again, the gum side has the stain right there. But every other card in here, the other 12 will be, should be salvageable. So I'm going to check these out. Gary Sheffield, Duran, Freddie Lynn, Jose De Leon. Get these artist cards. These are going to be, I guess, lithographs. They were all part of a no purchase necessary. You could send them in. This one is of Greg Olson. If you're curious as about who it is, if you look right here, it'll give you the name of the player. It gives you the same spiel but it will give the name of the player. I think there are 10 different players. <laughs> Look at the first pack. Wow. So right off the bat, first pack is very badly cut, but it is the Frank Thomas rookie card. So pack number one, there's no suspense in this pack. So this is awesome. I, of course, already have that card, but... You cannot have it enough, in my opinion. The Frank Thomas rookie card. So I will go ahead and sleeve him up now because he will be kept off to the side. But for the purpose of this break, we will leave him right there and see if we cannot find his partner in crime, Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams. some of his other 1990 compatriots. I'm not going to take a bite of every single one of these. But Charlie Lee Brandt gets the gum. Felix Jose gets the wax. And the rest of them should be pretty decent. Carlton Fisk, Milt Kyler, Harold Baines, there's the Jose Canseco, Kevin Mitchell, Eric Hansen, looks a lot like the Tino Martinez, Wade Boggs, Mike Pagliarulo, and Lance Parrish. So pretty awesome getting the Frank right off the bat. Maybe I'll get another. The cuts on these are always iffy, but for the price of the box, you can't really go wrong. 
So the gum will be Joe Skalowski. The wax will be Jimmy Key. And the lithograph, once again, is Greg Olson. I'm actually looking for the Doc Gooden for my binder. So we'll see if we're able to find him. Joe Maygrain, Lane Beatty. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. Another one of the most awesome cards from this set. The second year Griffey. Santiago. Jason Grimsley and Rick Aguilera. So another nice hit with the Griffey. 90 Bowman. This for for 20 bucks you cannot beat, I don't think. 90 and 91 Bowman. They are very affordable. I think 91 Bowman is probably running about double that. The price of 90 right now. Joey Quarter got the wax. Nolan Ryan lithograph. It's a very nice one. Always keep those out. Jody Reed. Willie Blair and Pete O'Brien. Nobody notable in there, but for a set builder, those packs are just as valuable to me. There's a good chance I'm missing a, quite a few of those cards. Gary DeSarcina gets the gum. Mike Greenwell gets the wax. And a couple nice rookies in this one. So the Saberhagen. Greg Smith, Pat Borders, Jerome Walton, would have been a big one back then. There's a Cecil, Griffey Sr., and John Olerud's rookie card. John Olerud was a very underrated player. But when I found this box on the shelf, I was pretty excited about it because I knew I needed to buy one. Bill Gullickson gets the gum. Marty Barrett gets the wax. There's the Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly. I'll send that off to Hedgehog. I'm sure he's got it, but... Eric does collect his Don Mattingly, and I do not. Sean Dunstan, probably the best one in that pack. So still looking for the Sosa. And a second Thomas, if I'm going to be greedy. Which I will be, as the air conditioner finally kicks off. Mark Lewis, Gum. Kevin Brown, Wax. And there is the Doc Gooden. That's the one I was looking for. I did need that one. I put this together in the back of the binder. This, Each of these contains an, the, what they call a variation. As you can see, this one has the, the two dots down at the bottom. So I believe the entire box will, but there is a set that has one asterisk i guess and i call them dots but there is they do have one asterisk down there and uh i can put that one away but they do have multiple sets of this julio franco harold reynolds who i was just listening to on the mlb network rico bronia and the infamous seductive pose <laughs> Rob Nen, I believe that may be his rookie card. Yeah, Rob Nen rookie card. And Willie Banks. So, so far I've been pretty lucky with the, the wax cards and the gum cards being lesser known players. Marquise Grissom is the best one so far. That would be the Grissom rookie with the gum. Which, I can probably salvage that. 
but I don't mind going through these boxes and picking out the best cards and getting the best centered cards. Robin Yount. There's Carney Lansford, who always looked like an old man. Kent Herbeck. So not a bad pack with Paul O'Neill and Albert Bell, which I don't believe that's Joey Bell's rookie card. I guess it could be like an extended rookie. But I believe he did have a card in 89. That gum fell off. But not without leaving a mess of Chris Bazio right there. Gerald Young with the wax. And it looks like, I think that's Mark Davis. It is Mark Davis. Dwight Evans. Glenn Davis. Cal Elrid. I think his... I think his kid may be pitching now. Kent Merker, Steve Hosey, Rolando Rooms, Rumis, I do not remember him. Ed Whitson, Gunderson, there's a Robin Ventura. 1990 would be his rookie card. I do believe he had some, may have had an 89 card as well. Omar Vizquel. And Todd Hunley. All three of those guys were brand new. I think Hunley, yep, could be his rookie card. Most of his rookies are in 1990. I think Vizquel had some 89 cards. Tony Gwynn, the best card to get the gum so far. Not too awful bad. Centering is pretty nice on that card. Unfortunately, he did get a gum stain up in his totals there. And Cecil Espy has the wax. So let's see if we're able to salvage a nice rookie card out of here. George Brett. Nice Brett. Roger McDowell. Moises Alou rookie card. Carlos Bayerga. I think that's his rookie card as well. It is. Keith Comstock, the owner of the maybe the most error cards out of anybody. I think he has at least three significant error cards. Well, as I drop the gun that I have to pick up so the cat does not eat it. Bill Sambin has the gum stain. Tim Wallach with the wax stain. Another Brett Saberhagen lithograph. Felix Vermeen, Dennis Eckersley, nice one. Barry Larkin, another nice one. Dave Winfield, so we got three Hall of Famers in this pack. And Joe Price. Oh, that one's really stuck. So Jeff Branson took that gum and did not want to give it back. John Cerruti. Another Don Mattingly lithograph. Biff Roberts. Craig Worthington. There's the Mo Vaughn rookie card. Bob Walk. And Mike Sosha. I think Sosha is the manager of Team USA, if I'm not mistaken, right now. Former longtime Angels manager. I do believe he is the Olympic team manager. So Ernie Camacho and Eddie Zosky. Not too bad. I like it when the gum stains don't affect. The cards, second Dwight Gooden, which is great. Lemke, Dennis Oil Can Boyd. Craig Graybeck, and there is Eddie Murray. 
but his first Dodgers card because he was a Oriole up until 89, but a nice Oriole great nonetheless. I do keep most of my Murray cards, if not all the cards. As I do with Frank Robinson and Brooks Robinson. If they were Oriole greats, I keep them. Jody Reed has the wax. This is the Jerome Walton lithograph. Lee Smith, Hall of Famer. Dave Martinez. I think he is now the Washington Nationals coach. Lou Whitaker, who is a fringe Hall of Famer. Tyler Houston and Don Slott finish off that pack. So we hit right off the bat with the Frank Thomas, but so far, other than the Griffey, it's been tough sledding. Todd Worrell and Pat Borders are the donated cards in that pack. Robin Yount, Lonnie Smith, Joey Cora, a couple repeats, Wally Backman, Checklist, and Ken Obergfell finishes off that pack. So, gonna need some luck. Hopefully the air kicking on will Change my luck. Nick Asaski and Ruben Sierra gets the wax. Roberto Kelly. There's Jeffrey Leonard. There is the Sammy Sosa rookie card. So we're able to hit the Sosa rookie as well as the Thomas rookie. So that is a nice second best hit right there. I'm going to put the I'll put the Griffey down here as well. I'm not sure if I have the Griffey in the binder yet. I know I have the Sosa and the Thomas Caminiti second year. And Chris Hoyles, another former Oriole favorite. Mel Hall is the gum. Tim Burke is the wax. Will the Thrill Clark. I'll send that out to Colin. He probably does not have that card. Lenny Dykstra. Roberto Alomar. Devon White. Kirby Puckett. Juan Gonzalez. There is the Gonzalez rookie. Probably the third best rookie card in this set. Nice Juan Gonzalez. So halfway through the box, hit the three biggest rookies and the best non-rookie card in the stack without hitting them on the gum or the wax. Bo Jackson lithograph. There is the Delano de Shields. His Bowman rookie card. I am a PCer of Delano. Very nice. Robin Yount. So you got a Hall of Famer in there as well. So not a bad stack. And especially not bad for the the binder. A lot of cards that are non repeats. Pascal Perez. Kevin Romine. are my damage cards in that pack. 
So again, it's not too bad. You get 14 solid cards and it's all about the, and you see the centering on this pack looks much better than the early packs. So if we're able to hit a rookie out of one of these, it definitely will be a very nice hit. I thought that was the Bernie Williams. It's the Allen Mills. And Paul Kilgus, as you see, that is just an unfortunate photograph. And it's very off center to boot. But as you put them in the binder, you're able to work around the centering if you find the card a couple times. You're able to put it in and make that set just look that much better. Let me get rid of the gum card is the checklist, so that's a nice one. But it always makes the binder look a whole lot better for you as you flip through it if you're centering in, as you can see, like a card like that, Jay Bell, well centered. There's a Don Mattingly, you can see he's off left to right. He definitely has a bigger left, but I will pick the best one out. And then if I find one later that is better, I'll, re I'll replace it. Vaughn Hayes, Chuck Finley, Tanana, Barfield, Ryan Sandberg. Nice pack right there. A lot of stars from the era and some Hall of Famers. Mickey Telton, the gum, Carlos Martinez, the wax. So I've been pretty fortunate not to have any other. Tony Gwynn is the only Hall of Famer to get the gum or wax. Another Doc Gooden card. So that's nice find right there. Brett Main. That was Brett Main's rookie as well. Ray Langford. Nolan Ryan, first time hitting the Nolan Ryan card. He is off center as well. And George Bell, who was a beast at that time. He was definitely one of those feared hitters for a very short span. Gerald Perry gets the gun pretty significantly too. Felix Jose. Second time getting the wax. Stillwell, Randy Milligan. Jerome Walton again. Kevin Seitzer, Alvin Davis, Johnny Ray. No big, too big of names in that pack. Ah, oh, first real significant destroyer card this time willie mcgee gets the gum and the rookie card of bernie williams gets the wax so unfortunately a wax card on the bernie williams but i'm sure i'll have another shot at it robin out again Hal Morse, Rob Deere, the Strikeout King, Mike Spanky Lavalier, Chris Myers, I don't remember that guy, and Daryl Kyle, the late Daryl Kyle, rest in peace. Gone way too soon. Larry Walker, so another Hall of Famer on the gum. And that would be your third best rookie in the set. And he has gum. Oh, so bad gum. So unfortunately, that one is going to take the hit. So we did well for a while, but that is kind of what I was hoping would not happen in this pack. But unfortunately, with 1990 Wax... You're going to get some gum stains. Kurt Schilling. 
rookies in 89. There's Matt Williams also. He's a, what, third year Williams? Rookies in 88 tops. So, unfortunately, hit the hit the gum on my last two rookie cards. Brett Butler gets the wax on that one. I don't know if I'd rather have the gum or the wax, because either way, it's kind of a rough deal, but boom. Second Frank Thomas rookie card. This one's off the other side. I guess it's off a little bit better. So two Frank Thomas rookie cards. Uh, centering may be a little bit better on that one, but it's still off a of hair. But very awesome still finding these cards though. Getting these out of the box that they have been sitting in for so long. And it does give me hope that I will find a couple more of these other rookies a second time. There's John Smoltz, second year card. Oh, forgot to put these two up. Bernie Williams is on the back again. Oh, Bernie Williams is not catching a break today. So Bernie Williams gets the wax on this one. So both of his cards have significant wax stains on them, unfortunately. But we did hit a second one. Ah, it's hard to keep my, without being slightly annoyed by that, but it is what happens. Randy Velarde, Chris Myers again, Daryl Kyle again, Andy Van Slyke. I don't think I've had the Van Slyke yet. Paul Sorrento. So a couple I have not seen and a couple that I've already had. As we start to double up here, Jay Buhner is going to get the wax. Dave Valley had some significant gum on that one. But we'll get the Jay Buhner out of there. But still, not, not too bad. I can't complain too bad about these. Sometimes the wax damages more than one card. Kevin Mitchell... Kurt Schilling again, so we're starting to hit a couple of these, but the centering needs to really come back before we find a nice card. Greg Swindell, looks like he has a scratch along the bottom. Mike Henneman. Dickie Thong. And Scott Service, who may be the manager of the Mariners right now. Maybe it's Scott Cervases. Maybe I just made that up. Steve Warnick, I do not remember this guy at all. There's the big unit, Randy Johnson. Nice Randy Johnson hit. Another Will Clark. There's a Roger Clemens, so two flame flamethrowers. Jeff Juden, there's another one. Dave Stewart, nice pitcher pack right there. And Dan Pasqua. But I do not remember Steve Wapnick. Walt Weiss is the gum guy. Jeff Shaw is the wax guy. And Bo Jackson gets the lithograph. 
Boddicker, Jose Offerman, Oral Hershiser, and Willie Smith. So no key cards in that stack. This pack's been almost looks tampered with, but the box was sealed up. Denny Martinez gets the gum. The big cat, Andres Galarraga, gets the wax. Kevin Mitchell. There's the Bo Jackson. That's a nice one. BJ Serhoff, Wally Joyner. Wow, this would be a great pack back in 1990. Rafael Palmero. Ricky Henderson. Brady Anderson. What a nice pack that was. A very nice 1990 pack. The Hall of Famer gets the wax on this one. Danny Gladden with the gum. Burt Blylevin with the wax. Chuck Knobloch is in this one. Mark Grace. Shout out to Jason Easterling. Kevin Gross, Chuck Knobloch, there he is, and the checklist. So we have five packs, six packs left, two, three, four, five. Get the air one more time. John Franco with the gum, and Vince Coleman with the wax. Another Nolan Ryan. Never have enough. Viola. Tom Glavin. The his third year. Ben McDonald. Tim Raines, or as he went by in 1990, Rock. Dave Henderson gets the gum. Tom Foley gets the wax. I got at least one Hall of Famer in here. Mike Harkey. There's a Barry Bonds. Nice Barry Bonds along with the Griffey. I'd say the two best non-Hall of, or I guess non-rookies in there. There is Jack McDowell, manager of the Burlington Sock Puppets. I will actually keep that card out. Maybe he will sign it when I go to a game. Joe Carter, Gary Carter, Steve Avery, Randy Myers, Andy Bennis. Not a bad pack right there. I'll put that Jack McDowell into the... I kept some of his cards up on the ledge, so in case I leave for a game, I can grab them and then maybe get him to sign at a game. There's another Delano DeShields rookie card right there on the back. Donnie Mattingly. Carl Tuffy Rhodes. The Japan, he's a Japanese home run hitter. Todd Zeal. There's the Delano rookie again. Andre Dawson. And two packs left. Let's see if we can find a second Sosa. Or a second Walker. Either would be nice. Especially the Walker. He is... He is damaged. Todd Benziger. Kevin Elster. Another Doc Gooden. Chili Davis. Billy Ripken, Dave Rigetti, nobody notable outside of Billy Ripken on this channel, all Ripkins are notable, Al Newman, Bob Boone, 
last pack. Bedrosian. Craig Biggio, so we're getting a Hall of Famer. Daryl Strawberry. Pete Harnish, Greg Jeffries, which would have been a big card in 1990. And that's it. So we hit all the rookies. We hit Thomas twice, which he is the most iconic rookie in that set. Larry Walker, unfortunately, with a gum stain on a very well-centered card. That's the unfortunate part about that is centering is almost perfect on that card. But nonetheless, send it off the SGC and you still get yourself a nice grade on that. And Sammy Sosa, one rookie of his, slightly off-center, but still a nice find. Gonzalez rookie, a couple Bernie Williams rookies with wax stains and a Griffey and a Bonds. So for the price of 20 bucks, not a bad deal whatsoever. Uh, always a great set, very affordable and a whole lot of fun. So I highly recommend anybody that collects Bowman or likes iconic rookie cards to pick you up a set and give it a shot for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you as always. Until next time. Later guys.